interesting facts about famous people. Movies, John Wayne died in, and how he died. Today, I've compiled every film in which a character portrayed by the legendary John Wayne met their ultimate demise. Duke, John Wayne, is one of cinema's most enduring icons, with a film career that lasted five decades. Primarily known for his westerns and epics, such as The Searchers, Stagecoach, and The Alamo, Wayne won an Oscar for the Best Actor for his portrayal of Rooster Cogburn in the original True Grit. In a handful of films, he did not survive to the film's end credits. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Let's get into it. Reap the Wild Wind, 1942 directed by the legendary Cecil B. DeMille, set in 1840, and follows ship salvagers who take in the captain of a wrecked ship, played by John Wayne, leading to a complex series of shifting alliances, love triangles, betrayal, and ultimately tragedy. Towards the end of the film, John Wayne's character, Jack, and another lead character named Steve, go diving in the wreckage of a ship to see if there was a stowaway on board when the ship sank. They are attacked by a giant squid, and Jack dies in the struggle against the beast. The Fighting Seabees, 1944, released during World War II, the fictionalised account of the Navy's decision to form construction battalions, or Seabees, so that US forces could advance the war effort in the Pacific, even during the threat of attack. Wayne plays a leader of the Seabees, sacrificing his life to ward off an attack from the Japanese forces. He is shot during the battle, causing him to accidentally initiate an explosion, forcing the enemy to retreat. Wake of the Red Witch, 1949, set in the 1860s, telling the story of rival mariners, Mayrand Sydney and Captain Rowles, played by John Wayne. What starts as a love triangle involving the two men escalates into Captain Rowles intentionally shipwrecking Sydney's company's flagship, the Red Witch, with five million dollars worth of gold bullion on board. Captain Rowles later returns to the wreck in an attempt to salvage the valuable cargo. When the ship slips off an underwater ledge, Wayne's character is trapped in the wreckage and dies. Sands of Iwo Jima, 1949. Shortly after World War II, John Wayne starred as the tough but caring Sergeant John Stryker in Sands of Iwo Jima. The war film follows a unit from training to deployment in the battle for Iwo Jima. Over the course of the film, Wayne's character transitions from being despised by the soldiers under him to eventually respected and revered. In the closing moments, Stryker is killed by an enemy soldier. Later, his troops find a letter to his son on his body, filled with words he never got to say. Mourning his passing, soldiers raise the American flag in the famous image from the battle. The Alamo, 1960. Wayne starred in and directed this historic epic, telling the story of the last stand made by Texan forces in the famous battle. The Texan forces, led by Sam Houston, William Travis, Jim Bowie and legend Davy Crockett fought valiantly to the end against overwhelming Mexican forces under the leadership of General Santa Ana. As Davy Crockett, Wayne met his demise in the ill-fated final battle. Fighting to the bitter end, Crockett is stabbed with a lance, with his dying breath tosses a torch into the armory, full of gunpowder, blowing it, himself and everyone around him. The Cowboys, 1972. Based on a novel of the same name, the Cowboys feature John Wayne as rancher William Anderson, forced to hire a group of schoolboys to serve as his cowboys on a cattle drive. Along the way, William Anderson teaches the boys about being cowboys and being men. Along the cattle drive, the group is stalked by contemptuous Asa Watts, played by Bruce Stern. When Watts attacks the group, Wayne's character fights to protect the boys but is eventually shot to death by Watts. 
the boys rally together and deliver revenge on Watts, then complete the cattle drive. The Shootist, 1976, the final film of his career. John Wayne appears as renowned gunslinger J.B. Books. Dying of cancer makes him the target of every gunfighter that wants to make a name for themselves by being the one who killed the legend. Awaiting his inevitable death, Books becomes a father figure to a boy, played by Ron Howard. In the end, Books guns down the last of the challenges in a bloody saloon shootout, only to be killed by the bartender. The boy kills the bartender, but having learned better from Books, rejects the life of a gunslinger, much to J.B. Books' approval. It is apt that John Wayne's final on-screen appearance brought such closure to his incredible and storied career. Thank you for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate likes and subscribers. Hit the notification bell to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel. The link's in the description. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.